finished my first makeup tutorial in my bathroom with terrible lighting. So I'm here in my dining room because uh, this just feels like it's a lot better uh, lighting. And so now you can actually kind of see what I did for my, see my eyes? For my uh, professional everyday wear kind of look. Um, so I have some things to open here. Um, I've been seeing so much talk about this cashmere product um, by Kim, is it Zolciak, the uh, Real Housewife of Atlanta. Um, I think she's great. I think she's funny and smart and, you know, to each their own. And I just have to try this product. So it comes in this blue box kind of like a Tiffany box color. And when you open it up, it has a little message. Hi doll. Hmm. Creating a skincare line has been my dream for as long as I can remember with cashmere collections. I'm able to share my beauty secrets and these amazing body products with you. We all need to take time to pamper ourselves. Ain't that the truth? And I have created the perfect products for you to look and feel fabulous. You are so worth it. I hope you love these luxury products as much as I do. Always remember to follow your dreams. Ask, believe, receive. So, the products come packaged like this. Okay, and I bought this kit, and it was um, 20, it's either 20 or 40% off. It was a pretty good deal, though, I think, to try all three. And the reason why I wanted to try this was it's, been all over Pinterest and I see all these celebrity endorsements for it and I'm that person again who wants to see what all the hype's about and make sure that it's really actually worth it. So I want to do a unsolicited, um, I guess, unsponsored review. So this is just a first impressions kind of video, um, not just beauty products but some other things too. So. This is the Luxurious Skin Toning Oil. This is the one that I was talking about. It has a little pump bottle. So I'm gonna pump it out here. Hmm. It smells good. It's definitely oily. Let me see here. I mean, I could definitely rub this all over my body. It smells good. It smells like, not really like anything I've really smelled before, actually. I don't know how to explain it. Like cashmere, I guess. Like if you were to smell a candle, oh my God, my ultimate favorite candle of all time is the Henry Bendel cashmere. Oh my gosh, that thing is so balls. Like I highly recommend that. I could burn that in my house all over the place all day long. But I don't know, I'm kind of almost out of my, my one candle, so I kind of need to get more of those, but. It smells good. It's very moisturized. I don't think you can see how shimmery this is, shiny. You can kind of see that. So it feels good. I don't know how much toning it's gonna do. Okay. Next one is a purifying mask. Apply a thin layer to freshly cleansed face, avoiding the eye area, allow to dry. Rinse thoroughly with warm water. For optimal results, use daily for one week, then use as needed to keep skin radiant. I'm sorry, and then for, I didn't say anything about this oil. Being dehydrated, bring, de bring dehydrated skin back to life with this luxurious silky dry oil. It soothes and nourishes, protects against moisture loss. Non-greasy oil hydrates and absorbs quickly for a younger toned appearance. Ah, younger toned appearance. Not actually toned forever. Maybe, I don't know. Helps to maintain elasticity and rejuvenate firmness, basically through moisturizing. Um, I don't know if I could really say it's not oily because I kind of feel oily still um, from the product. I mean, I think it'd be great like when you get out of the bath and you just cover yourself in it. It'd probably be really nice. Um, but I don't know. It's kind of all over my hands. I kind of feel like I need to just rub it off, but it's not coming off. It's not coming off. Anyway, it's still on. Still on. Smells good. Okay, let's take a look at this mask. So this looks just kind of like a, can you see this? My camera's trying to find it right now. Um, it looks kind of just like a typical mud mask. I'll try this out and then um, 
I'll do a review on things like later on. So these are the first impressions, but this is going to be a oh, firming lotion also. So we have the lotion and oil. The lotion says visibly improves the appearance of skin in problem areas by smoothing and hydrating. Helps tone and condition skin for younger, firmer look. Nourishes with a unique blend of natural emollients and botanical extracts, including shea butter, ivy, chamomile, and butcher broom. Let's see. This one has a metal, not metal, aluminum little tag. Don't use your teeth, guys. My hands are so oily. I can't open it. So, okay. <clears throat> this smells good. It smells like the hydrating oil. Is there like an exfoliator in here? Or maybe just because I wiped it off my table and my table's dirty. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand here. So it's just like a white cream. Pretty basic. No, there's no exfoliator. I must have a really dusty table. Okay. It's nice. The cream feels, I think, probably a little bit better than the oil. I think the oil is gonna be really good like your feet because it's so dry your feet you know I think that the the um the lotion feels like it's a little bit better for the rest of the body but I mean the oil if you have really dry skin I mean my legs get pretty dry so that's a good product for for that in my opinion okay I have some stuff from Nordstrom here um not beauty product but that's okay, this isn't only about beauty products, this is about lifestyles as well. So, I had a baby, right, four and a half months ago. I've never been super skinny. I am like, right now, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys, I'm 180 pounds, I am about 5'6", and I'm a size 10. Typically, I'm probably closer to a 12 right now. Um, you, before the baby, I was closer to 170. From moving to Washington because it's so cold here and I don't like being outside in the cold and I was probably like 160 when I moved here from Hawaii and um, 160 was actually a really good weight for me I've never you know I wasn't like super thin or anything but that was like a happy weight because I carry it okay and I love to eat and you guys will see on this page um, food <laughs> from all the places I love to travel and eat and you know I'm not gonna not eat good food because I have to fit in some clothes, it's not for me. So, I mean, majority of the girls out there are not, you know, super thin. I mean, you can be, awesome. I should get more into fitness, it's more about being healthy for me. Okay, so, in light of all that information, I have been in love with One Pieces because they just look better on me. I feel better in them. Um, and finding great One Pieces are kind of hard, especially when you're kind of like all over the place. So let me stand up so you guys can get a look at me. Okay, so this is a really boxy sweater, but um, I am a, let me see here, Ooh, doo -doo. I'm going to step back. So I'm wearing some leggings right now, um, and just like a pink shirt, and I am a 36D bust, a size 9 shoe, a size 10 to 12 pant, and definitely a size large shirt. So, um, and I'm don't have like a big butt I'm not super curvy I'm, I have I have some definition but I would say that it's pretty just average body so I found this one piece on Nordstrom and I love the way it looks so it's a high neck and it's gonna just come in with these lines and just make everything look pretty I hope um, we'll see and the back has these like little strappies so I'm gonna this is my first impressions once again, but I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, I do have a couple suits that I just love already. Um, when I go home, I I use them <laughs> regularly. So um, I'm going to put down my recommendations on one pieces for girls that have a little bit more to kind of hold together. Because um, you want to feel confident out there and you want to look good. And This one is by uh, Trina Turk. And the sticker price is $148. I don't think I paid that full price though for it. So, 
Okay, what do I have here? Oh my gosh, I don't even remember ordering this. What is this? I don't think I've ever had that happen before where I don't remember what I ordered. This must have been a really good deal for me to buy it because I honestly still don't remember buying it. Did I buy this? Where's my invoice? No, I did not buy this. There's no way I bought this. And it's not even on the invoice in the box. I bought the Bobble Bar Tiara beaded bracelets in pink and the Trina Turk swimsuit and I have this pink dress that's shown up now in a size small petite definitely never had that happen from Nordstrom before so I will be contacting them so weird they better have my bracelets because I really wanted to show those to you guys that was like what I was excited about showing okay what's in here then oh slippers if, I, if it's what i ordered it's slippers oh my gosh this is not what i ordered <sighs> what is this aster Bla black lace trim shrift shift dress <sighs> i ordered slippers bracelets and a bathing suit and here I am from Nordstrom. What is, oh, just kidding. I did order this. <laughs> I have this dress in a cream color and it is awesome. It has been good after baby and before baby and the cream color one I wore to a wedding. And you see it's got this lace detail down the front. And okay, I have kind of fat arms. So for me, this dress, it's just, it looks really pretty on. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay. My four and a half month old is up. I don't know if you guys can hear him in the background. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I will update you guys as this goes. <laughs> I'll hopefully show you this bracelet soon. All right. Thanks.